John Freeman and I'm from the United States from the city of Reno, Nevada. I had a small heart attack in my country and I was treated in the emergency room for the small heart attack and that's when I realized that I had to, I needed valve repair, I needed the valve repair surgery, but I didn't have actual treatment in my country. A friend sent me a, a, a link, a, a, a website link to a CNN article on uh, medical tourism. And I'm, I think World Medicist was referenced in the article, but basically the article just gave me the idea and then I Googled overseas heart operation they have a very good system. You fill out a little form on the, on, the, on the web page for your particular issue, and within hours of, uh, of submitting the form, Janet from World Medicist had called me, and within a day or two, I, I had, there was, World Medicist had a doctor in uh, Tijuana, Mexico, and a doctor in New Delhi, and a doctor in Istanbul. And basically, I decided I would rather go to Istanbul. I would recommend World Medicine. So they're very prompt and very thorough and always making sure that everything's okay. I had mitral valve repair surgery, uh, open heart surgery. I get a good feeling of teamwork. Dr. Sercek has a, a team with him always. And so when and they were doing, the, there's a number of pre-operations tests they do and stuff. and. Each test was performed by the expert doctor, technician, or physician, and Dr. Sercek was there always, and they communicated well, and I, I got a good feeling of teamwork from the team. Everything was looked into very thoroughly and very uh, professionally, and um, I feel very well taken care of. I, I feel that the doctors here, Dr. Sercek, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, another level above the doctors in Reno. I just feel like I've got another level of quality here that I did not have there. And, and the nursing staff is more organized, more coherent. Medical center is good. I feel the quality has been very good. The driver, Erhan, the fellow who picked me up at the airport, I had an extra day before the operation where I wouldn't be doing anything and they treated me to, uh, he took me to the city and we saw a couple of sites and, and drove around the, the water and it was beautiful and we had a very nice day. And Mr. Freeman had a heart condition called uh, mitral uh, insufficiency or a leak in mitral valve uh, causing uh, shortness of breath and palpitations. He had irregular heartbeats which we called atrial fibrillation uh, and he had also history of uh, coronary artery disease. Mr. Firman underwent uh, a couple of operations, actually. Uh, first, we repaired his mitral valve, leaking valve, and also uh, did a coronary artery bypass grafting to his left anterior descending artery, which we diagnosed before the operation during uh, catheterization. And also, we did a, a maze procedure, uh, which we corrected his irregular heartbeats. The operation went uh, very well, and the results were, uh, are very successful. He did very well, and uh, it, it, he was very amazing. Uh, the first morning, he was extubated after surgery, and he was out of the intensive care unit the day after, and he started poking around. Actually, uh, we found him a couple times in the hospital garden walking around by himself. He's doing very well. With globalization, uh, the borders are off now and we, we are living in a, a huge world without borders. Uh, I can easily tell you that the quality of cardiac surgery is uh, at least as good as uh, it, it is in the United States. And